Greetings and welcome, welcome back to another fragrance video on my channel and today we're not going to be necessarily doing a fragrance review but we will be discussing two important fragrance topics. Number one being do fragrances actually have an expiration date and the second one how to properly store your fragrance. Now to answer the first question it's very simple, the answer is no, fragrances do not have an expiration date period. I have seen interviews with some uh, perfumers or I have even seen bottles that uh, say that uh, the expiration date of a fragrance is like five years after opening it. This is completely false. Fragrances can last you a lifetime if of course you store them the right way. So that connects to our second topic, how to properly store your fragrance. Now, in order to talk about that, we first have to say what is it that actually damages your fragrances. You have four things you need to take care of. Number one is oxygen. Uh, the second one is temperature, the third one is direct sunlight, and the fourth is moisture. Uh, now, uh, oxygen would be the most difficult one to avoid because we are surrounded by oxygen unless you live in like uh, Belgrade, Serbia during winter, uh, but that's a different topic. Uh, so, essentially, the first time you ever spray a fragrance, a little bit of oxygen goes through the sprayer into the bottle, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. That small amount of oxygen helps uh, to make the process of maceration go faster. However, I, what I would uh, suggest to you is to not open the fragrance sprayer, so never take the sprayer off the bottle because then a lot more air can get into the bottle. So just don't do that and then you should be covered regarding the oxygen part. Now, temperature, sunlight and moisture are something that you can more easily avoid, but unfortunately a lot of people today make mistakes with these three factors. Let's start with temperature. Now, fragrances uh, tend to like room temperatures. They don't like uh, too hot temperature or too cold of a temperature. So uh, a lot of people like to leave their fragrances outside with, during the summer or during the winter and that is not really good for your fragrance. It will uh, make it go bad uh, a bit more fast. So try to keep your fragrances at a room temperature. Now connecting to that the next one would be exposure to direct sunlight because again a lot of people tend to leave their fragrances next to an open window and then sunlight hits directly into the fragrance bottles and therefore damaging the fragrance inside. Uh, you should try to keep your fragrances in uh, little to no light areas. So for example, I like to keep my fragrances in my drawer where there is no direct sunlight. Now, in case you really don't have any drawer or anywhere that is dark to put your fragrances, just keep them in your fragrance boxes and you should be good. For example, I recently got Prada Lone fragrance, but I don't really have any more room in my drawer where I keep my fragrances, so I just keep it in my box to avoid any direct sunlight. And finally, the number one mistake people make is keeping their fragrances in their bathrooms, aka they are letting moisture inside the fragrance bottles. Uh, again, do not leave your fragrances in your bathrooms because moisture is the number one enemy of any fragrance. Once moisture go gets inside the fragrance bottle, it's game over, your fragrance will 100% go bad. So never ever keep your fragrances in your bathroom unless you never use that bathroom because then it's just another room in your house. But if you use it regularly, don't ever put your fragrances there, it will go bad. So. To come to the conclusion how to properly store your fragrance, essentially you need to find a dark place that is room temperature and has little to no moisture, so basically any drawer in your house should be perfectly fine. Or at least keep your fragrances in your fragrance boxes because that would again help with the sunlight and temperature part if not the moisture part as well. And that's pretty much it. Uh, those are some simple ways you can uh, prolong your fragrance life indefinitely or at least until you spend the entire bottle. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this video. So if you liked the video, of course, leave a thumbs up. If you disliked the video, leave a thumbs down and maybe give me some suggestions on how I can improve my content. Subscribe if you want to see more fragrance or wristwatch related videos. And until next time, have a great day and 